the values of k for which the line y is equal to kx intersects the parabola y is equal to x minus 1 squared are precisely k less than or equal to 0, k greater than or equal to negative 4, k greater than or equal to 0, or less than or equal to negative 4, or k between negative 4 and 0. Okay, so I think the best way uh, to figure this out is going to be by starting with a diagram. We want to know what this parabola looks like. Once we have a graph of this parabola, we can figure out um, you know, which the line y is equal to kx obviously goes through the origin and it has a slope of k. So we just want to figure out which of those lines intersects parabola. So um, y is equal to x minus 1 squared. This is an upwards opening parabola. And when x is equal to 1, the parabola is equal to 0. So we have something like this. This intersection point when x is 0, this is clearly y is equal to 1. Um, and now, if I look at straight lines through the origin, um, obviously if k if k is less than 0, it won't intersect the parabola here, but if it's a large negative number, it might intersect the parabola up here. Um, so in fact, option C is looking pretty accurate here. If k is greater than 0, so the slope is positive, we definitely intersect this parabola somewhere. We'll intersect it, uh, certainly that part, and again, somewhere over there. Uh, if k is negative, then it has to be large enough in magnitude so that it, uh, it intersects this parabola up here. Um, and the only option that's valid here is, um, is C. Um, now, I didn't show that the bound for k is in fact negative 4, but um, why don't we just set up, uh, you know, here's another completely different way of doing this. It wasn't my first thought, but another way of doing it is just set these two things equal to each other, and now let's solve for x. I'll start by expanding the right-hand side. And if I now group everything on one side of the equation, so I have a um, I have a quadratic equation here, and we can write the solutions for x. And in order for this to have any solutions, this term here has to be positive or non-negative. So we need 2 plus k squared greater than or equal to 4. Mm, is there a way for us to see? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just take square roots of both sides. So we have 2 plus k greater than or equal to 2, or 2 plus k less than or equal to negative 2. Uh, this first inequality gives us k greater than or equal to 0, and the second one gives us k less than or equal to negative 4. And those are uh, the two inequalities we needed for option C. Yeah, so a couple different ways to see this one. Um, the first thing that came to mind was to just plot these. Uh, even the um, the wording of the question, the phrasing of the question, is talking about intersections between a line and a parabola. So the first thing that came to mind just from the language um, was was plotting it and looking for possibilities to intersect. Um, but then, yeah, of course, what does it mean for uh, two curves to intersect? It means that there's a solution uh, solution to the relation when you set 
um, the y values equal, you have to be able to find an x value, which makes that true. And then just deducing, uh, you know, if this has at least one real solution, um, figuring out what the possible values of k are. Cool problem. If I have more to say about it, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.